The Lord be with you. And who else with your spirit? A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Just three points this morning I'd like to make about uh, the beautiful gospel that we read in today's feast and uh, about New Year's. First, in today's gospel, uh, we see that uh, Jesus was given a name. He was given the name Jesus, a name that came from heaven itself. And I was reflecting on uh, this, uh, the, the giving of the name of Jesus and how often the name of Jesus is misused today. It is so often misused, it's unbelievable that people have forgotten that to keep holy the name of God is still one of the commandments. My goodness, if you've turned on the radio and listened to some of the modern songs, you'd realize that the name of God is being maligned over and over and over again. And yet the name of Jesus is a name that came from heaven itself and a name so sacred that we should uh, bow our head in reverence when we, use, when we say his holy name. And just as one example, Saint uh, Francis of Assisi, when he, he had such a love for the name of Jesus, every time he would say the name Jesus, he would lick his lips because he said it was so sweet in his mouth, even the name of Jesus itself. Isn't that a nice story? I don't know whether it's true or not, but I read it and I said, isn't that neat? And uh, my second point is uh, Mary guarded all of these things in her heart. And as I pondered on that, I thought of you, you good women and how often you guard things in your heart. Things, uh, you, you have a woman's heart is a special place and how she guarded these things in her heart and how you as moms and as women do the same so often without calling any attention to yourself. You have all the worries and concerns for your children just like Mary had for Jesus. Perhaps you guard in your, your heart the hurts that your children have caused you or, or your spouses or other family members or neighbors, but you've guarded many things in your heart. And when, uh, when these things cause you pain, turn to Mary. She has the heart of a woman as well, and she understands these concerns, and she'll always be there to comfort you. And finally, my last point was on New Year's resolutions, because so many of us begin this New Year making resolutions that we don't keep. We say we're going to lose weight, we're going to stop drinking, we're going to take better care of our health, we're going to have more time for prayer, we're never going to miss Sunday Mass, we're going to be kind to others, then we're going to balance our checkbooks. I don't know what your resolutions are, but we all have make these resolutions. But if I could just encourage you to just make one. You know, if you make a hundred of them, you're not going to keep any of them. So if you make one resolution out of all of them that you have, just pick one and try to con uh, be faithful to that one, and, and you'll have better luck. Uh, if I might suggest the one, uh, one resolution that's good for all of us is to increase the amount of prayer in our lives. For if we increase, increase the amount of prayer in our life, we'll draw closer to Jesus and we'll become more faithful Catholics and more holy saints throughout the whole year.